So we are going to solve problem 3.54 from study book. So the question is find I1, I2, and I3 or the mass currents of this circuit. So we have three loops here that already drowned by the problem and let's do straight at loop 1. Here we have voltage source and the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative and the value is 12 and then this one kilo ohm resistor because the value the unit is volt and kilo ohm the unit of the current will be in milliampere so here one and the only current that pass through it is i1 and then we move on to this resistor plus 1 and we multiply it by I1 and here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus I2 and then we have this 10 volt voltage source and the current is flowing from positive to negative so I will have plus 10 and that will equal to 0 now I will have 1 plus 1 it's 2I1 and minus 1i2 so minus i2 and here minus 12 plus 10 is minus 2 minus 2 moving to the right hand side so i will have 2. let's have this as equation number one and we move on to loop number two and again we are using kvl the sum in a loop will equal to zero the sum of voltage in a loop so here we have this voltage source and the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative the value is 10 and then we move on to that one kilo ohm resistor the focus is i2 but here i1 is flowing to the opposite direction minus i1 and then we move on to this one kilo ohm resistor the only current that passed through it is I2 and here we have 1 kilo ohm resistor again and we multiply it by I2 but here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction so I will have this equal to 0 okay I move this 10 to the right hand side so I will have 10 here and for I1 I only have 1 minus i1 here for i2 i have 1 2 3 so plus 3 i2 and for i3 i only have minus i3 let's save this as equation number two okay now we move on to loop number three so we will have loop number three Okay, we start from this 1 kilo ohm resistor and we multiply it by I3 but here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus I2 and this 1 kilo ohm the only current that pass through it is I3 and then here we have voltage source and it's flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative and the value is 12 and it will equal to 0 or this will equal to minus i2 plus 2 i3 that will equal to 12 and let's save this as equation number 3 okay let's copy these three equations and let's solve that so here we need to solve this system of equations so let's do that by elimination so first i will eliminate this i3 by doing this one equation number two multiplied by two and i will just copy equation number three and that will eliminate i3 because we have minus two i1 plus six i2 minus two i3 will equal to 20 and we will have this as minus i2 plus 2i3 that will equal to 12 and if we add 
this we will have this as 32 and then we will have this as 5i2 and minus 2i1 and what can we do here we can just copy the equation number one to eliminate this further so i will have 2i1 minus i2 that will equal to 2 and we can add this so this will cancel each other and we will have 4i2 is 34 and so i2 is 34 divided by 4 it is 17 divided by 2 it's 8.5 milliampere for i2 and from here we can find out i1 so let's erase this so i will have 2 i1 minus i2 i2 is 8.5 and that will equal to 2 so i will have 2 i1 is 10.5 or i1 is 5.25 milliampere so here was i1 for i1 and the last one we need to find i3 and we will use this equation number 3 so i will have minus 8.5 plus 2 i3 is equal to 12 and then 2 i3 will equal to 20.5 or i3 is 10.25 the unit is milliampere and this is our final answer hopefully i did not make any mistake and thank you for watching do not forget to click subscribe button